Days ago, a few years. Yeah, a few drops of. Okay. <laughs> so after that, a bottle of this perfume has been sold every 30 seconds. Wow. Oh. Yeah. So uh, perfume stimulates a uh, sense of the smell. So. Uh, the individual image has greater effect than we expect it would have. So, um, people who smell others' scent of per other scents remember the image, their image of scent. So, um, so I think perfumes are really attractive. So now I'm going to introduce them to you guys, and but I'm not gonna tell about um, how to classify them uh, according to concentration or, um, or base base materials. Basically. <laughs> so I'm going to tell about more practical things. So, first one is how to choose perfume. So, um, its people have its people have their own original scent. So, even though uh, some people wear the same perfume, uh, they give up different they give up different scents because they have different original scent. So um, for this reason, we should test them carefully before we choose one. So, um, they have three kinds of um, scent. So top note and middle note and base note. Among them, the uh, base note is the most important one. Um, Top note is the first set, so it's a short moment, uh, and uh, mid <laughs> middle note is the next next one, and the last one is bass note. And we can smell bass note after ten to. For uh, 10 to 50 minutes, so we need 10 to 50 minutes to choose suitable one. And can you guess when is when the best time is for choosing perfume of the day? 
Morning. Afternoon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is early evening. Mm -hmm. At this time, uh, our sense of smell becomes becomes mm. becomes fully sensitive. Mm -hmm. And the worst time is after lunch time. So you should choose <laughs> early evening. <laughs> And second, how to use? Uh, you should put them on uh, a part, uh, put them on parts of our body that pulse beat. So some examples are wrist and ankle, this side, and behind ears, and sometimes waist and ankle and behind knee. Mm, because uh, sense perfume is really sensitive to um, temperature, and it's it moves uh, following to bloodstream. And if you wear them on your neck for a woman, uh, but not for a hot summer, uh, it protect the scent. Um, from the sunshine, mm -hmm. so we can smell softly. Um, and putting them on our ankle or behind me, uh, it's it can be a good idea because um, usually, generally, uh, the scent comes up like this direction. So, and. If you wear a skirt, uh, put them on this side. <laughs> this side, because uh, if if we if you do so, uh, we can smell softly when we walk. So it's kind of tip. <laughs> and if you put them on hot coals or silk, it leaves uh, the strain. So you have to be careful. A stain? Strain? 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 Dirty. A mark? A stain. S-T-A-I-N. Stain. It leaves the stain. So you have to be careful. And um, I've, I have seen many times people uh, who wear them and rub but it's not a good idea. Mm -hmm. Don't wrap after. Sure do <laughs> yeah, because uh, the scent of scent particle will break. So just touch softly and. <laughs> and if perfume is old, so go bad. Uh, you can use it in different way. So don't throw it away. <laughs> For instance. Uh, it can be used as uh, air freshener, so uh, just um, drop it a little on the cotton and you can decorate and you can put your room. And also when you, when you rinse your hair or clothes, you can drop a little for good smell. And you can use it for making candles.